I'm Kirillie Gould from Local Land Services, coordinating the Coal Country Koalas Habitat Enhancement Project. My name is Peter West and I'm the coordinator of the Feral Scan program, which is a resource that's been developed for community-based monitoring of invasive animals in Australia. This project is within the New Morella or the Monero Arcs area of regional koala significance. The properties that we're working on are based around the New Morella, Peakview, Durangle, Breadbow areas mainly. This part of the world is very important for long-term koala conservation and we also have a number of other threatened species here so by protecting uh, the koala habitat we're also covering up on all of those other species as well. Like most of the properties in the area, we do have some pet species in, on our property. We also have a lot of um, uh, various feral animals. Um, I guess probably more the, the predators, like the foxes and cats, be a bit of a concern there. What did I do? We've got foxes, feral cats, rabbits, um, deer are an emerging problem. I don't remember ever seeing deer when I first moved here and now we've got them regularly coming onto the property. Goats were quite a big problem and they've actually been managed really, really well. Now here's the thing, you've got to get... Pest species are a big problem. It's really up to the landholder but we need to assist them, you know, working together. There's no point in one person just dealing with a few goat over here when the goats are moving through, you know, 10 or 20 or more properties. With the development of new technology and new tools such as monitoring cameras, and phone apps, it makes it very easy for people to record and document lots of different um, types of information about pests in their area. So we really found out that we have koalas on our property because the local land service put out an audio recorder and um, during the time of the recording we found out there's a male koala on our property. Benefits of working together to control pest animals will have um, benefits to koala conservation, the protection of other biodiversity and also agricultural benefits for um, farmers and sheep producers in this region. So when we spot a pest, we record it on the Feral Scan app. It's really easy to use and uh, you know, by doing this we're hoping that we can help monitoring the area. Well, Feroscan has been developed over many years in consultation with community groups and pest animal managers all around Australia and it really provides a free and easy to use platform in which people can record information about pest animals in their local area. It's super easy to use and your information is protected. It's not like other people can find out where you live and come to your property. So if you only have a small amount of resources for pest control, which is usually the case, where are you going to use those to get the best, um, best cost-effective result? Our Michelago field day was based around pest animals and how we can control pest animals or help, help, help reduce their numbers in prime koala habitat areas. So it's been wonderful to have an opportunity to come down and meet with the community here in Michelago. Um, it's nice to actually listen to what people are um, wanting to achieve in terms of koala conservation in this area. We engage with local hand, landholders there to try and show them what, what their options are for um, working with those animals in their area and trying to control them. So our, our results can demonstrate that landholders have the koalas on their properties and it gives them an impetus to, to protect the remnant hab whatever habitat they have left on their properties. So if they have a nice um, healthy remnant, you know, it, it emphasises the need to, to keep that and to look after the weeds and the pests that might be impacting that remnant. Having them there is just magic. Having an iconic and sadly somewhat endangered species, um, you know, living on your property is just really, really cool. I think it also reflects really well on the quality of our land, um, that the, the environment, the ecosystem is, is strong enough to support them, that they feel happy and comfortable there. To appreciate that you have quite a substantial population and a resilient population in this part of the world is really important for the overall conservation of koalas in New South Wales.